Back at Teasel Corner, and I'm sat amongst the uh, sanitary towers for the time being. I've reported it's an environment agency and have an incident log number, which is great. Um, uh, got about two or three hours to try and catch a fish before I have to pick the kids up from school. Uh, popped into the tackle shop, bought some maggots and pinkies, and was reassured by the, uh, the shop staff there that I'll catch nothing. So my mission today is just to catch a fish. Those floods have receded. It's still running quite fast, so I'm going to have to probably feed a fish, although I did bring a rod to trot with two. I've got 17 foot of water in front of me, so using this I'm going to fill this up probably about five or six times with maggots as it sinks to the bottom, that opens and scats along the bottom and as I say it's pushing through so those maggots will still be sent downstream. I'm going to feed a fish over that just to top it up and then switch to float and hopefully that will draw some, some chub in. Whenever I come down there's always someone making a racket, it's a hive of activity. Once that's hit the bottom I like to give the rod a couple of bounces, it doesn't always open first time. There's my feeder, there's a size 14, triple maggot. Not really going for finesse. Just had an absolute thump on the rod tip and I missed it. There's a tap there, there we go. Fish on. about chub is they feed in pretty much any weather. I've been trying to catch one of these on the last few sessions so that's well pleasing. He's pleased to say he's thin perfect there's no um, no damage on that one at all so uh, yeah brilliant. Let's see if I can get a few more. It's hardly surprising you know and it's still water on lakes. Fish don't have to use any energy up they just go into sort of comatose hibernation but on rivers they've got to swim against the current, which means I have to use energy, just needs replacing. I think the problem we had this January is that the fish had a really good feed during the floods, filled their bellies and then we had the frost almost the next evening, really heavy frost so their metabolism couldn't really um, digest it all in time. Yeah, I'll sort for bumbles. Speaking. To be honest, we've been out over an hour, so we're thinking like we've earned a coffee. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Lovely, that's grand. Thank you. There's my <laughs> midi Avon float. No, I really give up with the float rod. Get the feeder rod back out. See that little tap? Just that little tap. And again, there we go. Plastic hitting the line. That's sad, isn't it? Really sad. Well, there you go. Fish on. That could be a pike that's taken a roach. Let's just pick the bait up, give me that rattle, and then sat there. I'm going to ask a call in this flow. But the local anglers are telling, were telling me that this spot used to be renowned for being a, a place to get dustbin lids. The nickname for green. Always surprised me how heavy they are once they get past a certain size. And again, this one, if you watch my other video, it's not as big as the one I caught in the other video at night, but its tail is pretty much perfect, a little bit of damage to it. So I saw that, that paranoia about otters is uh, not necessary really, is it? It's a lovely fish. Nice. Well green slime, I'm going to smell lovely tonight. So changing the hook length is no problem. I use these um, quick change beads that you have a, a bead that you pull back attached to a little, a little um, like a Stenfo connector. So I need to take the hook length off, put that in a bin, 
put a new hook length on. That was the hook length I was using, quite heavy. But with that flow and fish, you know, the chance of catching chub to five pounds, potentially barbel, not oh, they're too light. New hook length on, and at least three maggots on this hook. Pink is in the feeder, maggots on the hook. Theory being they might pick out my maggots being slightly bigger. Scales. Some back. I think highlight of the day for me is seeing the uh, Salford Wombles out collecting rubbish along the bank. Uh, we need more people like that. So there you go, all those sanitary towels, toilet paper, nothing to do with Wessex water. They went down and investigated it, couldn't see anything, I must have been making it up. Write to your MPs, record it with the Environment Agency and make as much fuss as you can because these companies are getting away with murder. Thanks for watching and um, if you enjoyed it there's plenty of other episodes fishing from this spot here under Salford Sessions playlist. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and that helps me get out there and help young people, mostly disadvantaged, get into fishing. Thanks for watching, cheers.